Hey fairy, I'm making you a bandana. Are you excited? I'm making you one. So I have a dog named Fairy. He's a Pembroke Welsh Corgi and he's just turned seven months old. One of my favorite things to do is dress Fairy up in cute little accessories, go to wear cute little bows and cute little bandanas. However, at the moment, it is really, really hard to get them because a lot of shops are closed because of, you know, the world pandemic, which I completely understand, but I really want some new bandanas for Fairy. So I thought I would try making some for her. I figured making a bandana for Fairy would be pretty easy. It's just like a triangle shape. However, there are kind of multiple kinds of bandanas. So you've got the bandanas that you tie around their neck and you've got the bandanas that slip over their collars. Now, Fairy has worn both kinds of bandanas. However, she seems to much prefer the slip on collar one. And by much prefer, like she doesn't even seem to notice they're there. Whereas the ones you tie around her neck, she seems get a little bolded by if she's worn them for a little while. So I'm gonna be trying to make the slip-on bandana. So I found a pattern for a slip-on bandana. However, I was struggling with the sizes. So Fairy is seven months old, so she's still growing like quite a lot, but she's still kind of small. So this is the small pattern, which without Fairy here, it's a bit difficult to tell, but I was looking at this and I was like, this looks a bit small. However, I thought maybe it'll be all right. And I cut out a bandana and I put it against her collar and it would just be a bit too small. However, the medium was like huge. Why was it so big? So what I did was I just cut the pattern between the small and the medium lines so that I could get a more fairy sized bandana for her. So this is the pattern we will be working with today. I have two fabrics. One you already got a sneak preview of. Now the main fabric I wanted to use to make the bandana was this fabric. Now this is not fabric, well it is fabric, but it's fabric in the form of a dress at the moment because I bought this dress off Depop my dress is caught in my necklace. I bought this dress off Depop like six months ago maybe, but it was way too small. Like it was my size, but it just didn't fit. But I still love the fabric, so I'm going to use it to make a bandana for fairy. However, I don't have much of this fabric because all the seams are quite close together, which means there's not a lot of cutting room. So I thought I'd grab another old dress that I haven't worn in five years, which is which is where this little one came from. It's just spotty, it's not that exciting, but there's a lot more fabric of this dress so I can use it to make a trial bandana. This hole is from where I cut out the bandana the other day, not a feature of the dress. So basically I'm making a trial bandana with this one, but the trial bandana is a bandana that you can wear, but if it doesn't work out, it doesn't matter because I have heaps of this fabric. Understand, understand, woo, woo, woo. So what I need to do now is cut out a new bandana in this spotted fabric. I probably should have ironed this first, but I'm afraid of irons. They're very heavy, they're very scary. I don't want to use one. There is a part of this where you're meant to use an iron, but I'm not going to be doing that. So that's where this bandana might fall apart. Hopefully we can still make it work. Okay, so I just pinned my pattern to the fabric. The fabric is doubled over so that we have a full bandana and not a half bandana. And now I'm just going to cut it out. You know, I very like these bandanas. What if she just eats them and all my hard work was for nothing? It has been cut and now I just need to take out the pins. Da, 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 da. Okay, so I know it looks like very frayed around the edges already. However, we're going to be sewing those bits down, so it's okay. So you're meant to actually iron down your seam so that you can do it evenly, but I really, really don't want to use an iron. I'm just going to pin it and hope for the best. Okay, so I have my sides fully pinned. My bandana kind of looks like a weird porcupine creature at the moment. It would kind of fit me. The final thing I need to do is just fold down the top so it can have the little slip for the collar. Actually, you know what? I might do that after I do the seams. Otherwise, the pins are going to get in the way of me sewing the seams. I will do that at the sewing machine. So now we get to go to the sewing machine. I am so excited. I haven't sewn in ages. The sewing machine in our house lives in the family room. So let's go there and do some sewing. It's time to sew. My camera's decided that the sewing machine is more important than my face. Look, the first side is sewn. This is so exciting. Okay, on to the second side. Look, it's all sewn. Okay, it's not all sewn, but the sides are sewn. The sides are sewn, it's sewn. I need to cut off all these stringy ends, but like it's sewn. So the last thing I need to do while we're at the sewing machine is fold over this bit. So it has like a little pocket for the collar to slip through and sew that down and then it'll be done. Then I, Well, then it won't be done because I'll have to clean up all the sewing ends, braids as they're called. Look at my beautiful stitching. Oh my God, it's so uneven.
Okay, so I'm back, but I'm very annoyed because I made a big mistake. It's fine. It's still a functional bandana. You probably can't even tell from looking at it, but I'll show you a close up. Okay, so see here, with this line of sewing, I followed the edge of the fabric, but I didn't realize what well, I did realize. I just forgot that the edge of the fabric is uneven. So, you can't really tell. But the bandana is uneven. It's okay, because this was like my trial one. And it still kind of works. But I'm just so annoyed at myself. I really, really want to go try this on Perry. However, she decided that now would be a great time for a nap. And I don't want to wake her up, so we'll have to wait a bit. And I'm very tempted to just start making this one while I wait. Because I can see that this is like a good size for her. And as long as I don't sew unevenly like I did on this one, it should be fine. I think there's more fabric than I realized. These don't actually use that much fabric. So I think if I do stuff it up, there is more fabric to go from. I just might not be able to get the exact same pattern. Okay, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna go for it. I should probably clean up all these loose threads before I continue on. You know, it would be really, really smart to try this on fairy before I make the one I wanna make. But I don't wanna wait. I'm impatient. I will patiently wait for her to wake up because she needs to nap. But I will not patiently wait to cut out my next bandana. Okay, I'm just gonna go for it with this one. There is quite a lot of fabric. I think I could get like a few bandanas out of this. I'm just concerned because like the fabric between the skirt isn't that wide. Oh, actually, it's a lot wider than I thought now I look at it. I'm trying to place it so it'll be a nice pattern, but that's kind of difficult. Okay, so I pinned it and the pattern looks really pretty where I pinned it. So that is a good sign. Now we need to cut. Cut, cut, cut. Okay, time to reveal the full pattern. Is it pretty? Yes, it's pretty. Oh my gosh. I cut it at a really good spot. Just admiring my own handiwork here. It matches my jumper nicely. Oh, we should have a photo shoot together. Very hates taking photos with me. It's very upsetting. You should see all the selfies I've tried to take with her. Okay, so I'm gonna try and do a better job of pinning. I need to do a little bit here so this bit doesn't fray. This fabric seems a lot less fray than this other one. I don't know what type of fabric this is because I don't know stuff about fabric, but this one seems to be fraying a lot less already. I'm gonna pin this at the sewing machine, so let's go back there. I'm very excited because it's finished. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize it would stretch that much. But look, it's finished, it's complete. And a fairy's just woken up, so I'm gonna go try on her. I should try not to um, break it in my excitement. <laughs> also, side note, these two turned out to be like completely different sizes. Like, look at this. What? I think it's probably because I sewed this one like completely wrong, but that's okay. I think it'll still fit her. I know it's messy, but we'll just see how it looks and I can make another spotty one if I want to. And anyway, I'm too excited. Let's go find Fairy. I say find Fairy, like as if I don't know where she is. So this is Fairy! Say hi to the internet, Fairy! Are you excited to try on the bandanas that I made you? Yeah? Yeah? You just licked my glasses! Now I can't see! She's wearing this funny bandana! Fairy, look how cute you look in your bandana! Fairy, sit! Fairy, look how cute you look in your bandana! You look amazing! Do you like it? It's a good size, I think! You look like an animal Dalmatian! Okay, you look nothing like a Dalmatian. She keeps jumping up because my microphone is like this big fluffy thing. This is my microphone and she thinks it's a toy and she wants to play with it, which is really cute, but you can't eat my microphone, fairy. Oh my gosh, look at you. I love it. Do you love it, fairy? Do you love your bandana? I made it just for you. I think it looks so cute. Do <laughs> you think it looks cute? I think it looks cute. Look how cute she looks. She doesn't want to look at the camera. Why don't you want to look at the camera? The camera's over here. Yeah! Hey, look how cute you look in that bandana. You look so good. You look so good, fairy. You're a very stylish cog, you know that? You're a model. Well, we gotta get on our walk before it starts raining. So say goodbye, fairy. Bye! <laughs> I'll see you again soon. Bye!